remember about Vandy's personnel from the game a couple weeks ago? Um, they're really skilled. <clears throat> they're younger. I know uh, they got a big kid inside that's really good. Um, and then they got some good guard play. The point guard's really good. He's really quick. He can get down um, to the lane really fast. He can shoot the three, so we're going to be out on him. But overall, they got uh, a lot of three point shooters. Um, they're really aggressive. Like I said, there's a desperate team, um, and we're looking to not give them their first win tomorrow night. You brought the word up. Uh, Daniel said the same thing, desperate about your team. Just mm -hmm. how desperate is Alabama right now? We're really desperate. Um, I feel like, you know, coming off the last three games, uh, it's been tough, but we have, we're in the right mindset. I feel like we're moving forward, so not worried about the past. Um, just trying to get better today in practice so we can uh, perform tomorrow night. How do you get in that mindset after three games that were pretty lopsided? Yeah, you just got to shake it. Um, you know, thought we bounced back against A&M really, really tough. Uh, it was up 12 points in the second half with 10 minutes to go. And then um, we just kind of stalled out and ended up losing the game. But um, I don't think it was a lack of effort that game. I thought we brought the effort. I just think that we just didn't make a couple plays at the end that we needed to make. Daniel said that you guys were more together than you, now than you were during last year's five game skid. How so? Um, I, you know, being around the team last year, I really wasn't playing. Um, I was still around the team at practice and stuff every day. Um, I think overall, this team we have, we just love each other on the team. I think we, you know, it don't matter who gets the credit as long as Alabama is for the best of Alabama. Um, having said that, um, that's why I think going forward, this team has a good chance. We got a good chance of you know, coming up with some big wins here down the stretch. Can you, I mean, you've been a part of this team for a long time now. Mm -hmm. Can you put your thumb on what is, is there one or two things that can be corrected that is leading to some of these like late game collapses? Yeah, we pointed a lot of, some of it out. You know, being here, like you said, a while, you can kind of figure out where, you know, the issues are. Um, you don't necessarily know exactly, like, here's the issue, but you can kind of feel like we just need to get better in certain areas, as in rebounding, uh, transition defense. We give it too many ba baskets there. Um, if we don't turn the ball over as much, maybe they don't get as many easy baskets in transition. Stuff like that is stuff we just can we can help ourselves, and uh, it would benefit us. you guys hear any of the negativity, the, the frustration out there about these losses? No, we try to block that stuff out. Um, you know, you got people that's going to be upset where they're – you know, you go on these losing streaks. We know that, but we also have good fans that, you know, are going to be there for us. You know, at you know, tomorrow night, um, we know that people get frustrated, and we get frustrated too. We don't like losing uh, as much as they don't like losing. You know, at the end of the day, we're trying to win, and uh, the best thing we do is come in, you know, every day and work as hard as we can. Is there, uh, given kind of again some of the way these these games have gone, the the route nature, even. Mm -hmm. Final 12 minutes, you know, missing as many shots as y'all yeah. did. And, I mean, does this team have that will to win right now? Yes, I think we do. Um, I think we do. The way we bounced back after the Florida game to the A&M game, just our mindset was different. Um, I felt like we were locked in. Like I said, we just made a few mistakes at the end that we can correct and we can fix that. Because um, you can't correct hustle and effort. you got to want to do that. And I feel like our team showed that we can bounce back off a tough loss like that at home to bring it on the road to A&M, that it's just something we can build on. Um, I think, like I said, we're in the right mindset and we're looking forward to tomorrow night. And I mean, you mentioned kind of some of the online criticism of the team, but mm -hmm. is this team aware, the players aware of kind of the criticism Avery's been taking, you know, for not maybe having this team prepared? He <clears> takes a lot of credit on himself, blame on himself for not preparing you in the right way. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all understand what's kind of- A little there? bit, but like you said, the coaches do a great job. Coach Avery, his staff, you got a tremendous staff. Coach Avery himself, he does a great job. They prepare us each and every game. Um, if we lose, most of the time it's, we make silly mistakes. Um, it's not necessarily all the coaches' fault. Like, we got to take some of the blame because the coaches do a great job of scouting, scouting reports, putting us in the right position um, each game. So some of that blame falls on us as well. He can't take all the blame. but. Um, Moving forward, we're just ready for tomorrow night. Anything else for Raleigh, guys?